Hey, Aplea, there are five words that I've heard be used as insults tons of times, and I think if you really want to learn how to be your best self, you'll stop saying them. What are those five words? I'm going to share them with you right after this. This is the Just Beats. You're watching the Just Beats. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh, and every single Monday through Friday, I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. So if you want to learn and grow, hit the subscribe button and make sure to click on the notification bell. Now look, before I get into what these words are, I don't want you guys to feel like I'm the language police telling you what you can and can't say. You could say whatever you want. That's not the problem. But whenever I hear people use these words as insults, it kind of shows me that they're not really being kind, caring, or compassionate towards others and it makes me want to distance myself from them. So if you don't want people to have that type of reaction to you, don't use these words. So let's share what they are. The first word I hear thrown around a lot as an insult is the word slut. Guys tend to call girls sluts if they won't have sex with them, if they won't go out with them, or if that girl chooses other partners that aren't them. We tend to use the word slut or whore or thought whenever we want to insult someone's reputation, whenever we want to make them appear lower than they are, as if just having multiple partners or being with multiple people makes you any less of a person. From my own experience, I've heard this word used a lot by guys that have trouble with women. Either they got rejected by a girl or they just have a hard time really getting girls to like them back. And look, whether a guy or girl sleeps around or hooks up with a lot of different people, it really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, when they come across a partner that they truly value, that they truly want to be with, they'll probably put all that aside. So calling them a name to try to make them feel bad for what they're doing isn't really going to help anyone kind of work towards being their best self. So there's no reason to do it. The second word that people tend to use as an insult is the word autistic. People tend to throw that word around as an insult because they want to make fun of the fact that you're being meticulous or very detailed, or you just won't get over a certain point that you're hung up on. And the major problem there is that there are real autistic people in this world. So using their state of being as an attack on someone else is kind of taking a slap in the face towards them. What you're kind of doing is making fun of the things that they struggle with, communication, eye contact, making friends, social situations, you're using all those little things as jabs and jokes towards someone else. So if an autistic person were to hear you saying that, it would be really hurtful to them. And your response to that might just be, well, I don't really know any autistic people, so it's not really a problem. But the problem is that you're setting a standard of behavior for yourself. So if people who do know autistic people hear you saying that, it's going to push them away, like I said in the beginning. The third word that is used as an insult and has been thrown around forever is the word retarded. It's become such a normal part of our language whenever we speak, we just call someone retarded, we say what they're doing is retarded, we say they're being retarded, but the problem is that once again, we're ignoring people who are actually retarded and not really taking into account how people who know people are retarded may feel when they hear you saying that. There are plenty of people in this world with learning disabilities, and I don't really think taking their conditions and turning it into an insult towards someone who you deem as normal really is the right way to go about things. If you really want to work on being your best self, you'll kind of knock that behavior. Now you might be thinking, every Everyone says retarded all the time. It's such a normal word that no one gets offended by it. But the truth of the matter is this. If you want to work on being your best self, it's important to look at the things that you're doing and ask yourself, is this hurtful towards other people? Am I really carrying myself in a way that is welcoming and inviting to people? Or is it divisive and pushes others away? And retarded just happens to be one of those words. And I get it if you've been saying it for the longest time. But if you have the ability to improve your language and your communication skills, why not take this opportunity to knock that word out. The fourth word I hear thrown around a lot as an insult is the word faggot. People say it all the time to kind of demean other boys, to kind of make them look weak, to say that they're girly, and overall I just think it's not an effective word to use at all. The connotation there is that you're not manly, and if you're not manly then you're girly, and if you're girly then you're weaker, you're lesser than other guys. Now most people aren't thinking that deeply when they're using these terms. They're kind of saying them because they've heard other people say them, or it's so normalized that they don't think deeply about it. But if you really think about why someone would say it, what are they trying to imply when they do use it, you realize that there's no good that can come of it. People come in all different types of variations. Some are more masculine, some are more feminine, some are somewhere in between and have a balance of both. Either way, by using a term like this, what you're saying is that girly is lower than, manly is higher. And it's just not the way society should work. We really should be lifting people up rather than tearing them down. Because when you use a word like that, 
all you're trying to do is make them feel lesser than. And the fifth word here that I've seen people commonly use as an insult is the word triggered. People tend to say whenever you get upset or angry, you end up being triggered, but triggered has an actual definition. When people are genuinely triggered, it means that they've had a traumatic experience in the past and that something that's happened in this present moment is causing them to reflect back on it. Soldiers can get triggered, rape victims can get triggered, people who are bullied can get triggered. So by using that term as an insult, what you're really doing is showing disrespect to those people that have had traumatic experiences. And I get it. You probably want to jump at him and say, Josh, it's not that serious. I'm just joking around. But like I said, you have to ask yourself what your goal is. If your goal is to work towards being your best self, it's important to recognize the type of language you use when you speak to people. You know, a lot of times people ask me, Josh, is it okay to curse on your streams or not? You know what my answer is? I've never set a rule where people can't curse or say anything in my chat, but people tend to kind of recognize that that's the type of environment that we're in in those chats. We're there to lift each other up, not tear each other down. So they voluntarily choose not to do it. And that's the important thing to remember here. You can choose to voluntarily not use these words. It's up to you. No one's tying your arm behind your back and forcing you to not say them. But if you choose to say them, recognize that they can have repercussions on others, like pushing people away or just hurting their feelings overall. And like I said, I'm not the language police here. You can say and do whatever you want. These are just my suggestions on how you can work towards being your best self. But now I wanna know, what do you think? Have you ever been called one of these words? Are you someone that uses one of these words? Leave your comments down below and we'll talk about it. The learning doesn't end there though. If you wanna learn five more words that you should never say, tap on the video right there on your screen or in the playlist below it so you can get inspired and motivated to succeed. On that note guys, I'll catch you next week. As always, love and peace.